Hey folks, we're looking at some crabs. And my uh, buddy here, Rick, is going to show you. This is $19.99 a pound. This is a uh, Dungeness crab. Can you uh, please tell us about this, Rick? So these guys uh, are all going to be uh, boys. Male, they're yeah, all male. You, you can't right. keep any of the girls, but what you're looking yeah. for when you go to catch them out in the wild is the tail here is going to yeah. be much wider for the girls. Yeah. Aside from that, they got to be six inch across from point to point. Well, it used to be six and a quarter. Maybe maybe they've lowered it. Yeah. And where do you get most of the meat? Where, where's the meat? So your, le your meat's going to be in the claw, the leg, and the shoulders where they all connect inside so here. All these, all these tiny legs too. There's not much meat I here. I mean, not in the toes, but there's going to be meat in the leg. There's here. meat here, like yeah. here, right? Yeah. Wait. So where, where's the shoulder meat? It's uh, going to be all connected inside here. And when you sell these to people, we just kind of wrap them up in a paper burrito. And then they go and. And they drop them in hot water, boiling water, and they... Yeah. If you toss them in boiling water when it's rolling boil, yeah. they'll, they'll be gone in a second. So you don't have to worry about... So the, these are these crabs are basically on death row. Sometimes we get people <laughs> buying them as pets. Doesn't what? Sometimes we get people buying them as pets. Doesn't happen often. Pets? Yes. No, I was kidding around with you. Pets? Yeah. You no, serious? There's a, there's a guy who has a motorcycle shop over in Everett. He's got a saltwater display tank in, in the showroom floor. And he'll come in maybe once a year and get up like five or six crabs to keep his pets. Wait, so you have you have like animal rights activists who actually try to save them? Not quite. I've had a couple uh, of sweet sixteen birthday party girls come by and grab crabs uh, to go and release for their birthday. I've had a couple people buy them as pets. Not really any activists. Oh, so they they buy them buy them and then they uh, release yeah, they, them back yeah. in the. Uh, yep. Because they're they're from Puget the Sound. Sound area. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I believe specifically these ones are out of Port Townsend. Port Townsend, yeah. Uh, uh, my last name is Townsend. Nice. Yeah. But I, um, yeah. I think you got a little buddy here. What, you want to you wanna, wanna buy something? <laughs> He's just looking. He's just looking. Yeah, I mean, I used to, like like I said, I used to go to Muckle T.O., throw in my crab pot, crab thing. Every time I would pull it up, I would, it would be filled. I mean, it was yeah. like insane. Yeah, like, there's fewer of them out there now because the green crabs are invading and taking over the food spots. The green, the, well, yeah. So the, they're the Chinese, uh, the green uh -huh. crabs. They're little, little tiny crabs, only about that big. Okay. And groupers love eating them, but there's too many of them, and they they outcompete the local dungeon esque crabs. So they had to move further out. Well, we also. I remember up in Mukilteo, we also get we also used to get some called red rock crab. Yeah, those things are nasty, mean. No, but no, I heard they're.